County rattling in much of Central and Southern California tonight. Good evening, I'm Land I'm Mary Beth McDable. The quake struck at 9.09 this evening, about 10 miles from Bakersfield. It was followed by a series of aftershocks, and tonight, fire departments all across the region are deploying their resources to check for damage. The LAFD is deploying personnel from all 106 neighborhood fire stations to conduct a survey by land, air, and sea and examine critical infrastructures. The earthquake was centered about 18 miles southwest of Bakersfield in an area known as Mettler. If you're familiar with the area, it was felt across a wide swath of central and southern California tonight with shaking reported from Fresno to Santa Maria to the Los Angeles Basin and the Inland Valleys. Dr. Lucy Jones, seismologist, says this area is prone to earthquakes. Location is at the southern end of the Central Valley, so it's very near where we had a magnitude 7.5 in 1952. However, it does not appear to be on the same fault as that earthquake. That was the White Wolf Fault, which dips in a different direction. And it doesn't look like this earthquake was associated with any known fault as our preliminary uh, assessment. Um, it is having a lot of aftershocks. We've already had two above magnitude 4 and uh, 4 above magnitude 3, between magnitude 3 and 4. So that's a pretty active sequence for for uh, this very short amount of time since the event. And to be clear, well, there are no reports of damage or injury, significant damage at this point. Again, a 5.2 magnitude south-southwest of Bakersfield. Meteorologist Fear Jimenez with a look at the map for us tonight. Yeah, thank you, Mike. Uh, so would you go ahead and take a look at the map? This is where we are. This is L.A. County. So you'd have to take a drive up the I-5 through the Great Vite uh, to hit the region where that earthquake actually struck. When you look at this map, anything in red indicates that these are earthquakes that have taken place within the last hour. When you see yellow on this map, that means 12 hours and green past day. If you see a blue dot, that means it's been much longer than that. Uh, and as we continue to zoom in, Dr. Lucy Jones mentioned that there were a lot of aftershocks that already recorded. And as you can see, again, multiple earthquakes around the region, uh, aftershocks, I should say, around the region. Uh, and when you look at these circles, that indicates the magnitude. So the smaller ones indicate smaller magnitude or lesser magnitude. And of course, the bigger the circle, the greater the magnitude. Uh, that's what it looks like on the Max Stopper map, and I'll send it out.